I wanna share with you my updated how I get beachy waves using the Dyson Airwrap with their curlers. Let's begin. For leave-in conditioner, I'll be using by the brand Way, and this one smells so good, and they did actually just come out in Ulta Beauty as well, so if you like this brand, definitely check them out. This stuff smells so good. I'm just gonna do several spritz here and there, detangle it. And I feel like after using some of her products, I literally don't need to use a perfume. That could be a good or a bad thing depending how scented you like your products. And then I'll be using the Tangle Teaser detangling brush to brush out the hair. All right, so first step, I actually am going to use the smoothing brush to make sure the roots are nice and dry and the ends are dry because I'm not going to be wrapping the entire hair section on the curler, only a certain section on leaving at least one to two inches off the ends so they're not gonna dry on the actual barrel. So I wanna dry the ends and basically the roots. I'm just gonna basically comb the hair. Alright, I'm gonna look which way I need to go first. So this one, I'm gonna go on my right side. Pick up this hair. And I'll be working in sections. If you have longer hair, this is gonna take a lot faster just because your hair is not as sectioned. Even if you have a lot of hair, you can just start working from the back. I'm gonna take sections from the back first. And this just really makes sure that I just grab all of the hair from the back. And I'll be using the air wrap going down instead of up. And I'll be wrapping the hair and holding the hair there for a good 10 to 15 seconds on the high heat airflow and with the heat. And then turning the cool shot on for about 10 seconds to really set the curl in place. I am going to do like a medium airflow. Actually, you know, let's do the lowest airflow with the highest heat setting. You can see the ends are a little bit straighter. It's not as curly all the way down. That's exactly what I'm looking for. For this lower section of hair, I'm taking bigger sections because the hair is shorter and it's gonna be covered with the hair from the top. So I'm not really trying to put as much time and effort into this lower section. So satisfying. Next, I'm gonna change the barrel, going to the other direction. This is the one thing that I had an issue with when I first tried out Dyson, but I just didn't like that you had to change the barrels from one side to the other, but now that I've lived with it for some time, it's not, it's not that bad, actually. So for bigger sections, I'm gonna take a little bit more time just because they are thicker. I'm just taking sections just basically right across from the front end to my head, to the back end of my head. <laughs> And the reason why you guys saw me drying my roots and my ends in the beginning with the smoothing brush, you can just use a regular hair dryer for that as well, is because for those beachy waves, I'm mostly focusing the curl or the bend on the actual part of my hair instead of the ends and the roots. So I really want the roots to be dry mostly, or like 90% and the ends to be like 90% dry. It just takes a lot faster.
All right, next step, I am going to use some of the Way Super Dry Shampoo. I like adding dry shampoo on the first day that I style my hair after I wash it and dry it just because it is very silky. It's I have that very fine texture hair. So I really like adding dry shampoo, not to absorb oil, literally to add texture to my hair. And I really like this formula because it has rice starch instead of the aluminum or the corn starch. The rice starch is a lot finer and it's not gonna be as gritty. It still has a little bit of grit to it, but this formula, I really am enjoying it just because of the rice starch. And I'm not really applying it to the roots of my hair. I'm just kind of spraying it into the hair. Take my fingers and really tussle the hair. It just gives me so much body and volume and the waves do fall out very beautifully. I'm still experimenting with this particular product, Way their hair oil. So far, I really like it just because it's very lightweight. If you use a small amount, obviously it's a hair oil, so if you use a lot of it, it can weigh your hair down. So I use the tiniest amount, and I like that it does have a little pump as well. And I don't even do a full pump. And all of her hair products, they smell very, very fresh. They smell, they smell very floral. It reminds me of if I went to Hawaii, this is what I would smell. Now I'm just gonna apply it to the ends of my hair. And so far what I've been liking and enjoying with this product is how it's making the ends of my hair feel and look. The ends look super shiny, very fresh, <laughs> and they look very healthy. And I like that this look, it doesn't give you those typical beach waves. It gives you so much volume and body. It's, it's quite incredible, but I still, I like the, technique that I use where I just wrap the hair around instead of letting the hair wrap around itself around the barrel. That way the ends are a little bit more straighter even though they have a really nice bend, it's not super curly towards the ends, which I'm not always the biggest fan, especially for you know, like a really nice everyday type of look. You can leave your hair like this, part it in the center or you can flip it to one of the sides Bam, look at that volume. And I'm just using whatever oil I have left in my hands. Just kind of run it through. All right, you guys, that completes of how I create very bouncy, very voluminous beach waves with the Dyson Airwrap. And using the Way products that are new to the Ulta beauty stores around you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.